Bahubali, Bahubali, Bahubali. That's right. Today I'm here to give you my thoughts and review of the 2015 epic action film Bahubali, another brilliant and incredible film by S.S. Rajamuli. This film and its sequel will once again have you glued to the edge of your seat for the entire length of the film. So let's get right to it. Here we go. Bahubali, 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 Bahubali. <laughs> there are so many times in this film that you hear that name, you can actually feel the weight of it, Bahubali. There is a reason for that, so there's this incredible, fantastic story uh, that is written around this, well, historic figure. Uh, it's told in a completely reimagined way, and for a change, reimagining is a good thing. And uh, this retelling is absolutely beautiful, uh, coming to you from an ancient era in India's history. If you've already seen RRR, then you may be prepared for this film, uh, at least as far as the action and the storytelling goes, because uh, it comes from the same director. Speaking of which, S.S. Rajamuli is fast becoming one of my favorite filmmakers, and in this film, he actually shares the duties of being a screenwriter as well at least in part. Tollywood is another wonderful film producer in India. Bahubali is a Telugu language film that is also done in Tamil. The songs within the film are beautiful and they fill in the story, at least as far as what needs to be filled in. Uh, they are not a detriment, they're an addition and they're done incredibly well. Right now, you can find this film on Netflix. There's also an English dub version of the film Bahubali, The Beginning. Now, I haven't seen one yet for The Conclusion, which is part two, but it may be on the horizon. The film synopsis that's provided by IMDV is probably uh, the best way to describe the film without any spoilers, so it's pretty good. And here it is. When Sangha and her husband, part of a tribe living around the province of Mathis Mathi, save a drowning infant, Little do they know the background of that little one and what the future holds for him. The kid grows up as Shivudu, a free spirit wanting to explore the mountains in the process, learns of his roots, and then realizes his whole purpose of his life and ends up confronting the mighty Balala Deva. And I hope I pronounced all of that correctly. I'm going to miss some of these, but I'm trying, folks, and you can help me along. I appreciate it. While that actual film synopsis is pretty good, it leaves a lot uh, well, off the table. Uh, so allow me to interject my thoughts and uh, give you, you know, a little bit of what I think of it as a review. Shivadu is compelled to climb to the top of a mountain from which he seemingly came. As with all things secret in a family, everything comes out in the end, and it really seems to here. It is clear that he is driven to achieve this goal, at least getting to the top of the mountain, and is lacking only one last motivation, which comes in the form of a mask, so to speak. And I won't spoil any more of that part of the story. Shivadu's excellence is already on display well before he reaches the top of the mountain. In fact, you could probably say that it's during one incredible introductory scene of his adulthood. The performance by the actor uh, uh, Prabhas is simply perfect from beginning to end. Um, he metamorphizes uh, in many different ways in both characters that he plays. That's right, more than one. It's another great action star on display for all of us in the West, indeed, and uh, I hope that he continues to make great films. I'm pretty sure he does and will in the future. Uh, upon seeing the uh, Avantika, uh, which is played by uh, Tamana uh, Bahetia, uh, Shivadu is immediately captivated by horror, and uh, you probably will be too. This is one of the many nested love stories that are actually a part of and make up the compelling storylines and themes that are in this film. There are many of them. Uh, Anushka Shetty plays Princess Devasina, 
And she does that so well and so completely that you see and feel all of her joys and suffering. And boy, there's a lot of that. Uh, Rana uh, Dagubadi, and again, I'm trying with these names, folks, is the cunning villain Balala Deva in a performance that actually grows over the course of both films. Um, Starting out as you know, very very cunning, and uh, and 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 quiet, uh, to being overtly evil, which again, it's done very very well. Speaking of themes, of course, Bahubali is set as I mentioned in the ancient era of India. The filmmakers do an amazing job of actually pulling in some elements of uh, well that particular era's omniscient Bahubali story of that time. Now uh, what will never cease to amaze me when it comes to all of these films is their budgets, and their production budgets are slim. At a mere $28 million, this film runs 2 hours 39 minutes, and at the time it was the most expensive Indian film ever made. To date, it's collected over $100 million in gross box office, and I imagine more from streamers such as Netflix who are going to pay to have this film on their service. It won scores of awards and it was the first Indian film ever to be nominated for anything at the Saturn Awards. In fact, it was nominated for five. I can't say enough how uh, wonderful the score and the soundtrack are here. In fact, I am constantly impressed with how elegant they are. Again, reminding me of a better period in film here in the West. Uh, thinking back to, let's say, the great John Williams and what he was capable of. I have to tell you that this composer, M.M. M. Caravanti, uh, is, is brilliant, and he did both the score and all elements of the soundtrack, so it's very impressive. The visual effects are wonderful, and again, they're not always the most convincing, but they're, they're really well done. In, in fact, at times I felt like it was stepping into the Uncharted video game franchise, and that is a high praise for a film like this. And I, of course, I'm saying that in a good way. This is a fantasy adventure action film that uh, needs those kinds of elements. The good news is for the viewers out there is that this film is exactly what it tells you it is. It's the beginning, which means that there is still a conclusion to come. And I'll, of course, be reviewing that film part two next week. So let's get down to it. Here we go. This film is great. <laughs> It's, it's incredible. I feel like a broken record now because I'm constantly giving these films, all of them so far, at least four and a half out of five. That's, I don't do that very often. A five is impossible to earn. These films are all nearly perfect. I'm impressed with S.S. Rajamuli. And uh, I, I, you know what? It, it will be surprising if I see a bad film at this point. So keep them coming, everybody. Everything in the film works together the right way, and uh, which is amazing. Uh, the story, the characters, the pacing, the cinematography, the action scenes, they're brilliant. It works for everybody because it includes a whole lot of other things like built-in romances, love stories. Uh, everything is riding into one common theme, of course, which is good will always overcome evil. And that is still a message that we should all be pursuing today. You can accomplish a lot by being good as often as you can, and this film does it in some of the best ways imaginable. Once again, I'm going to say this. I'm overwhelmed by the response to these film reviews. Um, I have a list of uh, over 30 films at least right now going, and uh, I'm sure I'll have even more soon. So over the course of the next few weeks, there's going to be plenty of these reviews because there are plenty of incredible films out there, I'm told. Thank you for all that support. You guys don't know what it means to me, and I do appreciate all of your suggestions. So be sure to hit the like, um, share this content out on all your socials. It really does help drive this channel, which uh, you guys have been doing a great job of. I appreciate it. Um, your comments are incredible, so do keep them coming. And uh, you'll see a short here before uh, the end of the week of me uh, having my movie snack while watching this film. And uh, if you've got suggestions for those, Keep those coming as well. And with that, I'm going to end the video the same way I always do, telling you to support other independent creators here on the platform because they absolutely need your help. Uh, they are out there making great content for you, watching incredible things and reporting back. Of course, they're also watching some not so incredible things, but 
I have to say I've been lucky so far. But do support them the same way you're supporting me. Like, share, comment, be sure you're subscribed, all of those wonderful things. And with that, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands, of course, because it's good hygiene. And until next time, bye. Thanks for visiting today. Be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.